A man in Seoul tested positive for the new coronavirus in early May. South Korean authorities were able to immediately pinpoint within minutes the five bars and clubs he visited on a recent night out and who he might have come into contact with. The system used um, by South Korean authorities requires its citizens information. Now, data privacy is one of the main concerns here, but officials say there is nothing to worry. Eric Ferrer tells us why. South Korea's digital and fast contact tracing response in the most recent outbreak linked to nightclubs was a result of months of work on a digital data collection and sharing system that patches together cell phone location data, credit card records, and CCTV footage. The epidemic investigation support system has effectively removed technological barriers to sharing information between authorities by building on the country's smart city data system. That platform was originally designed to let local authorities share urban planning information from population to traffic and pollution. Now it forms the foundation for a data clearinghouse that has turbocharged South Korea's response to the virus. Using traditional methods, it took investigators up to three days to gather a patient's personal data and trace their contacts. The new system can reduce the time to less than an hour, officials say. Investigators can use it to analyze transmission routes and detect likely infection hotspots. But the issue is data privacy. It's a violation of privacy to let everyone know where a confirmed patient lives, where they went, and what they spent money on. Of course, protecting privacy is important, but I also think privacy should be put aside at this point, both nationally and globally. On this, South Korea's Central Disaster Management Headquarters says the government has a way to prevent violations. The government has expanded anonymous testing nationwide in order to prevent unnecessary privacy violations and plans to supplement guidelines to prevent excessive disclosure of a confirmed patient's past routes. Authorities' power to get information was established by a 2015 law called the Infectious Disease Prevention and Control Act, introduced after the country was hit by Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. The law allows South Korean health officials to access a wide range of personal data, including cell phone location information and credit card transactions without a court order. Officials say authorities notify anyone whose information is gathered and that all the data will be deleted when the virus is contained. While many countries are scrambling to develop smart apps that can trace the contact of patients without revealing detailed personal information, South Korea has forged ahead with a more invasive approach. Eric Ferrer, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.